Let's talk about that for a second, too. Because I think this is an important concept in Judo. You guys will really appreciate it. And this is a book called uh, Judo Memoirs by none other than Jigoro Kano himself. In that book, he talks a lot about principles and key components of Judo and what Judo is about. And uh, I'm going to be referring a lot to that tonight. It's right fresh in my mind. And I love some of the things in that book. Uh, when you're doing judo, you know, where should you be looking? You know, a good judo person looks his head, right, triangle right here, right in that area, is a good place to, to focus if you if you really think about it. And the reason you want to do that is because it makes you stand erect. You know, the worst thing you can do in judo is to look down at your feet. Already you're off balance and they're going to the wrestling sprawl. This will defeat your ability to do judo. In fact, if you look at if you look at wrestlers and a lot of the BJJ people, they come out here and they go like this right away and they're real stiff and they move around like this until maybe somebody does a leg grab, which we now have made illegal, right? And they get a penalty. Judo people stand erect. So, you know, in karate, it's this way, sideways. You know, like the kumite stand. In uh, wrestling, you tend to be this way. So in judo, you're like this. What's this look like? What's it look like? What's it resemble besides judo? What kind of fighting? Boxing. Boxing, correct. Kano said that in his book. That a judo person moves like a boxer. More than, more than any other martial art. If he had to say which martial art other than judo, he said he would say it'd be more like boxing. Because boxers do what? They stand erect. You don't see boxers come out like this. Unless maybe they're defending themselves. Most of them stand up here like this and they're looking at you. And George Harris, who was one of my uh, uh, heroes, I remember he did a clinic years ago at Indiana University. And uh, <clears throat> he taught us what he called the stunner step. The stunner step was, you know, you go to come in on a person, like you want to come in here, and you, you like, shelf wind to them so that they don't see which way you're coming. Ken-Ken movement. Ken-Ken movement, like in Ken-Ken Uchimata, exactly. So, I mean, uh, two people stand erect and look in this area right here. So they're not looking down at your feet. Try not to look at the person's eyes. The reason you don't want to look at the person's eyes is because if you had Mr. Kim as your instructor, you would know Mr. Kim had such a mastery of his, of his uh, body that he could actually do stuff when I was, I would be standing there, he'd go like this, so I'd be over like this, and he'd be hitting me like this. And I, I figured that out early on, but about 15 or 16, I said, you know, he made me do that, because I flinched when I saw, it looked like he was going over there, and he did exactly the opposite to me. So that's when I said, I'm never looking at Mr. Kim's eyes, I'm going like this. And I, and I never once again would stare and watch his eyes when I was doing judo.